<laughs> no, it's so, going. <laughs> Maybe. Hi. <laughs> hey. It's an interesting start to our coming adventure. My name's Rob and... My name's Claire. And what are we doing, Claire? And we're going to document our adventures as we uh, start a very large project. And why are we doing this project? We are doing this project. I don't know. <laughs> we're doing this project because we're a bit crazy. We're absolutely mad. But we have decided to sell our lovely house, which we're sitting in now. And we'll show you later. And we are going to move to a very run-down farmhouse which needs lots of work but uh, that we have kind of fallen in love with. So where is this farmhouse? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a trick question. This farmhouse is in West Cork and for those of you that don't know because hopefully there may be some people from far far away West Cork is in the very south westerly part of Ireland, as close to America as you can get. And it's very wild, it's very remote, it's very rural. And why would we want to go to such a spot? Um, well, West Cork happens to be probably my night, uh, most beautiful place that I think uh, that I think of, and I guess it's probably where I spent a lot of my time when I was younger. Um, it's somewhere that we travel to an awful lot, um, even with our kids, and um, I guess it's somewhere where we'd like to spend our time. I do a lot of free diving and spearfishing as well, and I would go to West Cork at least four or five times a year. So I love it down there. And there's a real feeling of like stress relief as you mm. get away from the city. So it's very rural, it's kind of like a village area we're going to be going to, and we are we're not quite in a city of Cork. We're kind of in the suburbs in a housing estate close to a main road and surrounded by loads of people and loads of activity. And for a very long time, we've, we've been kind of keen on peace and quiet and tranquility and having a more natural way of life, I think, right? Definitely, yeah. I think uh, this sort of situation we're in now is ideal for kids growing up and starting out and school is just down the road and everything is on your doorstep but like my door every morning and go hi hi <laughs> you know it's just we want to move on and we want to have our own space we want to have our own little bit of land and we want to be able to turn a property into the way we want it to be hopefully um, and, and be peaceful and in a lovely part of the world. Um, we looked at several uh, different areas. We even looked at Spain. Um, we flew to Valencia last summer to check out there and, and perhaps we could have explored more, but uh, at this time of our life with our oldest daughter who's 20, who is just in her first year of college, it isn't really an ideal time to kind of move that far away and yeah we still have a son who's in secondary school so um yeah we just feel it wasn't quite right to that and then mm, not sure i want to move away from ireland it's a great place and it's a very yeah, we were, nice uh, place to, to live i happen to work for a company that they encourage remote working so we're very keen to explore um, living over there, working remotely. But as soon as we landed there to check out the houses, I personally anyway felt the longing for Ireland and I couldn't necessarily imagine um, spending a lot of time abroad there where really I just wanted to come home. And I suppose... Alexa, stop. And I suppose to put it into... Sorry, does the dinner need to come out? No, it's okay. okay. We, we can and I suppose out. putting that in perspective, we, my parents lived abroad for a lot when I was younger in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia and Riyadh. And I used to travel a lot when I was younger. Claire loved to travel as well. Um, 
an opportunity came up about I'd say maybe eight years ago finishing up a startup and I wanted to change so we went over to Dubai we lived there for a few years um, we actually we moved five times in three years trying to find the right place and then we came home to Ireland we rented our house we've been here for quite a long while maybe about 16 years but so we have experience living abroad um, and we know what it's like to long for home and when I started to get feelings of that in Valencia I was like no I can't so we came home we abandoned Spain and Portugal idea although Portugal looks wonderful there's loads of people on YouTube who are watching now that are doing the whole off-grid and homesteading thing over there but we were always drawn to the ocean and drawn to West Cork um, so this is this kind of like as soon as we were working remotely and the pandemic happened we started looking for a place and we're very fortunate to have had two houses fall through for again lots of interesting reasons we might get into later but complete serendipitously we stumbled across this house and it wasn't even listed we couldn't even go see it the auctioneer was like don't tell anyone the postcode but they yes didn't have that's a, another another video uh to to tell you about and probably to tell you about because we didn't realize that this sort of thing went on but uh that there are auctioneers that that take on properties are really that people don't want other their neighbors to know that they're selling or this sort of thing and so they don't go on websites like daft would be a big one here in ireland um they don't go on those because they don't want people to know and so it's very hard to find out about these people but oh, once oh, you know once you the know the people then you who do this then it's it's a it's a very uh uh strange situ situation but um anyway that's that's how we found out so that's the magnetism for the area but why is this actually happening on youtube that's not a really interesting point that we want to get in this introduction video i suppose and that's because we had a couple of different channels i've been doing very unsuccessfully i've been recording um I, I did a martial art a long time ago and I've been recording videos for that. So my first YouTube channel was over 15 years ago. And when we went to the Middle East, um, I wanted to record adventures with our kids just so they would have something really cool to look back on. And we record, we have a photo book every year. We record everything in our life, but we didn't really put a lot up on YouTube because we were just doing it for ourselves. As Claire said, our daughter is 20 and our son is, um, pushing on 15 so they don't want to do the same things with us anymore and they're not terribly aware of the things that we do so we want to um, record what we're doing we want to document what we're doing and at some point in the future when they themselves are going through a similar sort of ordeal I hope they look at this and realize that you have to be a little bit mental a little bit crazy and a little bit committed to the long term and again it's only when we started to do this recently um, my parents in particular have been sharing stories with us of when they did it themselves like 30 years ago so I would love to be able to see them in their prime when they were doing it and I would just love for our kids to see this so if any of you want to you know just subscribe comment whatever that would be great completely not necessary we don't want to be pimping out you know like comment subscribe business at the end of every video we probably don't even want to do any product placement or advertising or anything we just want to keep this as something really like natural and pure something that we want to do that our kids can see in the future so this is that covers the youtube side of things so yeah i also think that um i think a lot of people and probably a lot of you there probably would like to do this too and would like to have the maybe the confidence or just just want to do it but then it's very easy to go oh you know nah we'll we'll stay put and we'll keep driving to work every day and the kids will keep getting the bus and you know it's it's um it's very easy to just sit tight and comfortable and i don't feel that I feel there's much more to life than just sitting comfortable in in a very comfortable house in a very comfortable area in a very safe area in a very convenient area we have the city 15 minutes away 
um, everything is on our doorstep. Um, and but at the same time, then we've no we've back garden. We've got four houses that look into our garden. Um, we we've tried to to make it quite private with a lot of trees, but in the summer, you know, you're always aware that everybody else is in their garden and. Yeah, it's just it's just not your your private space, I suppose, especially when you live in an estate. I'm sure lots of you um, feel that. So the thing is, in Ireland, it's difficult to do this um, because it's it's difficult because it's expensive or can be expensive depending on where you want to go. And unfortunately, West Cork happens to be one of the most expensive. But we made the decision to do this. Luckily, we are able to do it because we're selling a house that, that we are able to get a nice, you know, a nice bit for, for to fund it. So, um, but then it was relative because we clearly had to pay more than we thought we, we would want to really on what we're buying. That's the point. But, That's the point as well. In that, like, we when we were looking at Spain and a little bit of Portugal, you know, we could have we could have bought the most incredible place with the funds that we had. Mm. but and we could have got it all built or got builders in but because we're going to West Cork there will not be any builders there no will, I suppose this is us yeah we we plan to do it ourselves and and there's a lot of people doing this at the moment and there's a there's a huge support network in Ireland in Portugal in Spain probably in the UK um, uh, for people who want who are doing this who are taking this on because you'll see the property show shows here in Ireland, you it, it's crazy the money that goes into building when a lot of it is stuff that you could do yourself, and maybe with a little bit of learning you could do yourself a bit of patience. I mean, it's hell of a lot of patience needed, but look, I think we're willing to do it and we're willing to to give it a go. And we're luckily we're at the time of our lives as well when we don't have young children. And um, so not that that would be something that would be difficult, but both of ours are one secondary, one college. So older daughter obviously has her own life very much now, hoping to move out next year. And um, so, However, yeah. it, it, it was in the past that like our grandparents would have like built their own house, a vernacular like bungalow or farmhouse. and their grandparents would have built their own house. And then kind of our parents' generation, your parents bought an old ruin and they converted it. And my parents mm. would have done all their own extensions and um, a lot of renovation on property. But that's something that our generation maybe hasn't touched on. And it's something no, you know, I, think... I don't think the next generation will touch on. So it will be great to have a tutorial of how not to do things. Yeah. That's what this will be. Yeah. So... Because we don't have experience. We, no. we, we're very good at DIY, I would like to say, but no experience of renovation or no. this sort of building. No, so it starts to... This house is sold and we're, we've agreed the new house, but we're trying to sort out a few things in it. Yeah. It's a bit awkward. The, but we, it's brilliant. We do things a bit slower down in West Cork. But a bit look, different. But then that's why we want to go. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, we'll show you all of that and we'll show you what it is we're taking on and uh, there, there's a little bit of land which is lovely because we've always wanted to have a little bit of space, maybe a little bit of growing. I love growing things and we've been trying to do that a lot in the garden here but then it's tight because obviously I'd love to have a polytunnel and you can't really put a polytunnel in a garden and an estate. And or chickens. Or chickens, or I'd love to have a beehive Eggs. and lots of things. So um, we have, a, I suppose, actually another reason why we, we kind of want to do this. And we've noticed this more so in the last uh, while since we've had her is we actually ha have uh, a red setter, an Irish setter. And um, mm -hmm. she is eight months, Rooney. And um, we just notice how she loves to run. And she just loves to be free. Now, she's very good. We've put a lot of time into, into training her and then she's very good on lead and off lead. But she just loves space. And just our garden is actually quite big for this, the, the house that we have in the estate that, we, that we're in. But she 
she, it's not she, big it's enough, not for big enough like that. you know and um so we do walk her for six kilometers every morning and we do take her yeah. off leash on a private she island or a private time. beach nearby mm. um so she just runs herself for two hours but seeing as you introduced rooney how about toffee oh yes yeah, so then we've toffee um toffee is a very independent cat you'll meet her too um we actually she's from limerick say no more uh she <laughs> came, say that. She Sorry. Came with... listen i'm from limerick <laughs> oh, and my parents limerick. are from limerick so <laughs> that's not a slur on limerick people that's a slur on me <laughs> um so no 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 she's lovely she's a lovely limerick cat lassie no she she came um with her brother from Limerick as kittens and they unfortunately her brother had other ideas and he took off to someone else's house because he he didn't he didn't stay with us so of course one child was left without a cat then which was a bit difficult for a little while but anyway Ashton our son Toffee is his his cat and um Kira's cat Habibi um <laughs> did a runner so no we still have Toffee Toffee and Rooney have a bit of a volatile relationship um but we're hoping that that might improve on the move because i think they're toffee even though she clearly has everybody else's garden to explore um she uh does like to stay in her garden and she's very ho much of a home bird um but her and rooney don't quite often see eye to eye it would be fair to say that we're in no part not inspired by the sort of things that we watch We've been watching a lot on YouTube of late. We love some of the people in... We actually watch quite a lot of things. Like I like a lot of um, ocean fishing, um, kind of like spear fishing, diving, and even just some uh, boat fishing in the UK. Um, so I'll be incorporating a little bit of that into this channel as well once the kind of house project comes along. Um, we watch quite a lot of the Portuguese people doing it. I'll just try and name a few as like the newbies, the make do grow. Um, who's the, the Scotters? The one? Yeah, the Scotters are the new. Scotters and uh, um, the nearly vegan, nearly veggies. This brilliant Irish one. Yes, Maury. and the two. Uh, Oh, the couple from Liverpool. Dan and... Oh, what's their names? I think they're the original something. The original homestead or something. Something like this. So there's a whole bunch of really interesting stuff. Dan and, and Laura, um, is it? Yes. I'm In sorry Portugal. if I got that wrong. But anyway. It's not, we... There's not a lot from UK, actually. Although Hayes Outdoors, um, Fish Locker, we love. And then in Ireland, there's Mossy Bottom, um, Off Grid Bruce yes the off -grid they're are brilliant but there's not a lot of irish people so the only irish one out of that is Maureen from nearly veggies uh, so yes. yeah so we we'd yeah. like to do this as well we'd like to do it in an area that possibly a lot of people maybe watch a load of those um channels and if you want to see something different we'll try and do similar to all of that in uh west cork so yeah, lots of ocean activity, lots of exploring. The place we're going to, they have like 20 little islands. They all have private beaches. We'll take you through all of those places. A lot of underwater footage, free diving, um, a lot of homesteading and looking after plants, animals and so forth. And also a lot of building because we know mm. nothing about old stone walls and we're going to give it a go. Mm. That's about it, I'd say. Is I it? think so. Yeah, I think we said it all. So I'll include a little bit about where we are and where we're um, coming from, this particular house. And we can't show too much about West Cork until we've nailed down as much as we can. Um, so maybe the next video, mm. we might show a little bit more. We might actually take a drive down there and show some of the scenery. Just got a drone as well. So maybe we go down there and check it out. Mm. All Excellent, right. yeah. See you later. See you later. How do we say bye bye? Mm, I don't know. Don't they go like this? <laughs> I believe you did that. Oh.